also developing in Portsmouth, a death investigation. We first reported this is breaking news at midday. The body of a man was pulled from the water along Peach Orchard Circle. We're working to gather more details on that as well. And a state park in Virginia Beach was closed today. Police tell 10 on your side they were searching First Landing State Park. This is related to the missing persons case of 17 year old William Gervais. We'll let you know once police release more information on this situation. Two Elizabeth City police officers are recovering from minor injuries when an attempt to stop a man with outstanding warrants went wrong. Uh, the officers were actually thrown from the vehicle as the suspect tried to drive off. Police arrested Carlton McDonald on several charges connected to this incident. Today on your side, Aaron Kelly joins us now. Aaron. Well, police say it all started here at this intersection and ended after going through several city blocks. When it was all over, two officers were in the hospital and the suspect, well, he had a long list of charges against him. Carlton McDonald was originally facing one charge. Now it's 10 because of what police say he did Tuesday night. Officers say they got a tip McDonald hadn't paid child support and they tried to get him to step out of his car near the intersection of Fearing and McMoran streets. And once they advised him he had warrants, he started rolling the windows up and tried to start the car and put it in drive. The officers reached inside the car to try to take the car out of gear and turn it off, and he took off. Police say the car went 50 to 100 feet before the officers were thrown from it, and that the officers got up and back in their cars and continued after McDonald. Right around Parsonage Street, police say McDonald got out of the car and tried to run away before police arrested him. The officers are a little bruised and banged up, had some abrasions on their knees, hands and elbows, but uh, they were treated and released at Aramar Hospital and they're fine. Hey, we have some brave guys, women and men here at this police department. They're willing to do whatever's necessary to protect the city. Now, police say part of their procedure when someone is injured, an officer is injured, is that there will be a supervisory investigation just to make sure that policy was properly followed. Now, McDonald declined to talk to us today from jail. Live in Elizabeth City, Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.